It's always a really exciting challenge to find the true innovators in the world of EMTB. When you find the gold, well, that's great. But when that is matched with a bike that looks good as well, well, that is a rare beast. But that's actually what we found on our recent tours of Europe when we came across the all new Flyer Uprock X. And why also we are super excited to be invited to the HQ of the brand here in Hutwil, Switzerland. <laughs> The new Uprock X 150mm travel all-mountain bike is a very special bike, and it's a true story of close collaboration. During our visit to the headquarters and manufacturing facility, we will be meeting the people behind the brands of Flyer, Fit and Panasonic, and get a real insight into how these three companies have worked together to evolve and advance the game. The Uprock X is quite a unique bike in the world of EMTB. And the reason for that is because this bike is a collaboration between Panasonic, Flyer and Fit e-bike systems. Now remember, Flyer are true innovators because they brought the world's first e-bike around about 1993. And Panasonic, well, they've been with them pretty much all that journey. It's not just a, a take or give from either, from any side. It's really something where you're building and building and it's allowing basically all partners to up their game. Ah, folks, hope you don't mind me taking five to enjoy the, uh, the weather in this particularly splendid part of Switzerland. We're near Emmental and we're surrounded by tractors, cheese, red kites, uh, on of course chocolate. This bike certainly isn't a bike which is a collection of parts. It's not a bike where the motor of the battery is taken off the shelf. So the Flyer Uprock X then. Well, 150 mil travel, front and rear, 29, 27.5 wheels. Comes in uh, four sizes, four model specifications, and a 750 watt hour battery in most of the bikes, other than the lower end one in the small size. I have to say, it's a particularly fine looking bike. Okay, folks, let's begin this journey by uh, starting with the chassis, because let's face it, without a good handling bike, then the motor, the battery and the display really counts for little. So my favorite subject, geometry. So what have we got? Well, 460 mil chainstay, 77 degree C-tube angle, 473 mil reach, 350 bottom bracket, and a 65 degree head angle. Now, when we talk about the materials on this bike, the fact that this bike really is aesthetically pleasing, is possibly aided by the fact that all Uprock Xs come made out of carbon fiber, both the front triangle and the rear swinging arm. But I wanna draw your attention to a few fine details, such as the cable routing in the chainstay area and also the protection on the drive side. We've got large industrial bearings and some great protection in that down tube area. And of course, the game being making a distinct bike that's connected, that's quiet and yet powerful. And also being of 150 mil travel, one that's capable in a range of scenarios. Proper all mountain stuff, this. Now, great bikes have a good parity about them where all the component parts talk to each other and they all fit into place. So the Flyer Uprock X is all about the modular system and a key part of that is the fit system which makes all this happen. Okay, so fit then. You might have heard me talk about fit uh, previously at shows, but here we are in Switzerland. We've here at the Flyer uh, factory. We've actually got fit just across the road there. Uh, but the aim of fit is actually to synchronize uh, the hardware and the software on the bike. So to make this happen, the Flyer team talk to the Fit team, who in turn talk to the Panasonic team. So that means there's a constant development of this bike and indeed many other bikes from Flyer. In order to making it fit together uh, in terms of electronics and uh, communication, of course, it's a fit thing. So uh, we, we are um, responsible uh, that all the components can work together uh, in harmony, let's say. 
Yeah, when the flyer PM uh, asks for creating a new bike for the next model year, for example, and he wants to integrate the, the FIT system, then he can start configuring the system we can offer him in a cloud-based tool on our side. It's the, we call it the PM tool, quite straightforward. And uh, he can plan their, uh, his bikes there. He also can start prototyping. So from the moment on when he created or configured um, a valid fit system, um, he can press the button and uh, program a first prototype um, uh, by, by him or, or on his own. Now, I've waited years for this moment. So luckily yesterday, we were out here in Switzerland and managed to get a ride on Uprock X and was able to check out some of those component parts of the FIT system. First impressions of this Panasonic motor, really smooth to the range, but question is, how's it deal with the tough stuff? Oh yes. Now I've been riding this bike for some time now and I've actually been in standard mode. Remember there's eco standard auto, which is special and high. But what's really interesting is I really can notice that 10 newton meter difference over some other motors which we've been riding today. Now, I've been riding this bike on some particularly amazing trails out here in Huttwil for the past two hours. And I have to say that the remote is really easy to navigate through. And when it comes to display, that's, that's controlled via the remote and the usual stuff such as distance, cadence, uh, the height you're at. And uh, one feature I really like is the fact that you can actually link your tire pressures via the display. So it'll, it'll show you whether you're above or below the correct tire pressures. You can set your tire pressure on there. I think it's a really, really cool feature. Plus, of course, other things such as your heart rate uh, and a lock. You can use the display actually as a locking key. So as you can imagine, the fit part in the flyer equation is really important because it actually gives the brand independence in the decisions that they make. Uh, actually, two things which I didn't uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, one is the integrated light switch and you've got the monkey link mounts here on the front and also on the back to put your lights on. And of course, you have got a walk mode, which works. Now, I mentioned earlier in the woods about the different displays. We've now got back to the Flyer HQ here in Hutzwell, Switzerland, and I can actually show you. Now, this is with the phone mounted. Now, with the phone mounted, there's a ton of extra information you can get on there. Uh, one of the things I really like about it is the Geo range finder. It gives you the, the sort of the scope of what, where you can ride in, diff, in different power modes. So really useful tool. So you can got that. Oh, by the way, there's this tool as well, which is the uh, USB that'll charge your phone on the go. Very handy, seeing as my phone is flat today. So as I mentioned, the different displays, here's the dinky one, pops in, super easy, switches on immediately. Or you've got the more detailed one. Hopefully I put this in the right way. And there you go. So three different variations of displays which you can use on the FIT system when you fly at Brock X. And so after sampling some trails, some truffles and of course the odd Rivella, a Swiss made soda, I had a few surprises waiting for me in the basement of Flyer and where I got to meet some interesting characters. Of course, the motor uh, that we're talking about with the Uprock X is the Panasonic GX Ultimate. But there's a long history uh, of uh, partnership between Panasonic and Flyer. I'm now joined by Andreas from Panasonic. Andreas, you've got one of the uh, one of the early motors there, right? Yes, Steve, right. So I brought here one of the very first motor units, which was installed 20 years ago in the first Flyer bikes, equipped with Panasonic motor unit. Yeah. So this was in the C-series model. A bit of a backstory here. Actually, Flyer were one of the early innovators of e-mountain bikes. I mean, Andreas told me some numbers here on, on Panasonic motors. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it's quite impressive. So Panasonic is very early associated in the e-bike market. So even in 1979, Panasonic developed the first e-bike in the Japanese market and sold the first e-bikes in 1996 in the Japanese market. Oh, wow. Right. What kind of, uh, what kind of numbers then are we talking in terms of motors on e-bikes worldwide? 
Worldwide, we're talking about more than 1 million Panasonic systems, e-bike systems there on the world market. Wow, so that's, that's a pretty major player, right? I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here in Bertie's workshop in the basement of Flyer, and he has got a particularly smart dyno here. Now this dyno can pretty much measure anything. It will replicate a uh, ride effort. So you're looking at torque, cadence, uh, inefficiencies. Uh, and one thing, folks, which is key, if you're thinking about making your E-man bike more efficient, a, a well-oiled chain, you can gain or lose up to 3% just in that department alone. So Bertie, who's your assistant? Yeah, this is my wife. Okay, you and your wife work, seriously? Yeah. yeah. What? We were working here to... Hold on. I... So you two run the dyno. Yeah. That's great. Yes. What's, sorry, what's your name? Birgit. Birgit and Bertie. The heart and soul of Flyer. <laughs> so what we're looking on the screen now with Birgit is... Uh, th th what I'm looking at is actually the, the, the watts from the motor and the watts from the rider. So I'm looking at... The most similar. Oh, see so the more... Okay. No, we're too, too schnell, or Obviously, we've gone over 25, so the ride has put it in more watts than the motor is. We've come down to 23, and we're looking at about 600 watts from the motor, 170 watts from the rider. Wow, I need a dyno in my life. It's amazing. Now, what also makes Flyer quite unique is the fact that they assemble the bikes here in Switzerland. So the Panasonic motor, the fit system, and the frame all in this building. What I really like to start off is the wheel building machine. I've never seen one before. Absolutely mind-blowing. So, what we actually got here is Oi, Noi and Indira. <laughs> what we have here, folks, is a box of Panasonic GX Ultimate Motors. She's a beauty. Everything's caught my eye, actually. There's, some, there's, stuff, there's just stuff going on everywhere here. I mean, that's the cool thing is, the wheel building machine was pretty impressive, but the fact that we've got this production line behind us here, so those Uprock Xs, they're not, they're not in production today. We move to one part of the production line where a very key process takes place, and that is the marriage of the e-bike system. This is where the component parts make themselves known to each other and a flyer bike comes to life. Wow, I'm sure you'll agree that was a fascinating insight into the creation of an Uprock X. And uh, Flyer have come quite a long way since Philip Kolbrenner built this bike way back in 1993. Uh, all that needs to be said is thanks so much to Panasonic, Flyer and Fit System for inviting us out here to Switzerland to go through the creation of the Uprock X. Uh, and remember, the key thing is if you want to go and try that bike, there is a rental and a test place out here in Hutwell. You can just get on the bikes, take different sizes, different uh, model specifications. You can see for yourself. Thanks for joining us.